Hey, this is Matt from Investiquant. Today is Thursday, November 19th, 2020. And this morning we saw the markets gap down a little bit. Uh, after a quick test lower, we pushed back towards yesterday's closing price. We've been consolidating uh, around yesterday's closing price in the S&P and the Russell. The Dow has been consolidating a little bit under the prior day's close, and the NASDAQ has been a little bit stronger consolidating over uh, the prior day's closing price. But uh, most of these instruments are consolidating, and they're doing so above the open uh, this afternoon. And I figured what we would look at is this little pattern as we head into the close in the context of tomorrow being options expiration day. It was kind of an interesting bias when I was just looking at it. So I figured I would share it with you this afternoon. So let me go ahead and load this up and discover, show you how to build it and take a look at the results. So we'll be looking at all four instruments. The setup's gonna be a time-based entry that gets long at 3 p.m. Eastern time. It exits at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. For the post open filters, I'm going to say that we are trading above the open at 3 p.m. since that's the entry time we're using there. So I'm going to come over to this intraday close versus intraday range and say that that 3 p.m. price is above the opening print for the session. Next, I'm going to go into indicators and put us in a similar market environment of above a 10 and above a 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm gonna go down to the market events section. I'm gonna grab this day before options expiration day, add that to the test, and then I'm gonna click view results. All right, so these are the results of going long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at the close, 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, when you are trading above the opening print at 3 p.m. Eastern time. You're also above in 10 and a 200-day simple moving average, and the next day is options expiration day. So this is uh, heading into the close ahead of options expiration day. You're trading above the open. Historically, we've got 70 samples in the S&P, 65 in the NASDAQ, 72 in the Dow, and 57 in the Russell. And if you take a look at the win rates on these, they are coming in favored. Uh, you've got the S&P at 59%. The NASDAQ, the strongest of these, coming in at 68% winners. Uh, 60, that means 68% of those are closing above that 3 p.m. price. Uh, the Dow coming in at 58% and the Russell at 61%. So uh, fairly strong numbers there between the four of them. If you take a look at the average win, average loss, it uh, looks like the average win a little bit bigger on the S&P. The average loss is a little bit larger than the average win on the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's the one with a really strong win rate, but uh, wins are not quite as big as the losses are on average. And then when you look at the Dow and the Russell, uh, the Dow wins a little bit larger than average loss, and Russell uh, wins just a touch larger than the average loss. Nothing too crazy there, though. But historically, this has been a little bit of a favored pattern as we head into the close on options expiration day. So uh, hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you tomorrow.